seven three three two three nine five seven three three. Call the program right now. Keep Candace awake. This is her half hour of dozing. And Candace, great show this morning, girl. Thank you. A lot so of much. call ins. Wow, hot topics, and you did real well. And the callers had very good points of view. You're on TV. Well. And good morning, TV audience, and good evening, I should say. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. we got a good little program coming up. Well, Candace, thank you. You handle it very, very well. You're a real pro, and uh, it's a pleasure to listen to you when I can, because we're popping all over there at the school. I don't have a lot of time, but I bet I listened uh, 12 to 15 straight minutes today oh, that's without awesome. interruption. I appreciate you listening. You oh, know, I Candace. thought she was walking taller. She was looking like she was mighty proud of herself when I walked in here today. It's all because Art listened. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're sweet, but it's worth listening to, everybody. So well, thank you. If, you, if you get up late, that's okay, but at least, no, they can't. They can't, no, they can't pre, they can't. Shot, just, so just like wake up at nine, listen, yeah. and go back to sleep. There you go. <laughs> Not until 1130. Until <laughs> <laughs> Candace does a good job, everybody, Triple as you well know. Well, okay, let's talk a little bit. We got exciting stuff happening at International, even today. Today, Paul Herring and others that are listening dutifully, we had a truckload of, uh, not a truck, but a whole carload and a half of, um, Middle school kids went down to Waterford Township somewhere, Waterford High School, most likely they're on our middle school robotics team, and uh, they were, uh, they're going to be competing down there. So I don't know the results, uh, so we're just going to see what's happening when they get back. Won't know that report on that next week. <laughs> this is the young lady that did the underwater robot? She, they, yeah, her and, and uh, David Hare and Marcel Richmond, uh, Richmond and um, uh, who else? Uh, uh, several kids. I, okay, I can't. Okay. I can't. I just can't pull them off off the top of my tongue at the uh -huh. moment. But they were excited, of course. And we were at Kettering University last Sunday, and they were working it under the water and moving it here and moving it there and all kind of stuff. They're excited, of course. And I went the whole two hours without falling in the pool. Better than last year. <laughs> but never again, never again. No, that was fun. We'll go back again. We trust. Okay, that was one thing. The, the high school team is getting ready to go to state. They're uh, putting some stuff together, academically putting some things together. They ha they're not allowed to work on the... Um, on the robot, Paul, because there's that's overall rules. You can't. You only get six hours after first competition, and you can only have to do that in two, three-hour sessions if you need to make adjustments okay. to the robot. So that they put a big old um, sticker on there, huh? uh, like a do not plastic tamper wrap with. thing, and yeah. yeah, and only one person can cut it. The the head judge, and then everybody can go to work at that time. So it's very, very strict rules, and that that's good. And also, oh, folks, you better warm up your cars because. Um, We've got Kindergarten Roundup coming up next Monday. Five big days, ladies and gentlemen, five big days. You may have heard us advertising a little bit on the radios. And uh, we would love to have you come on between the hours of 10 and 2. 10 and 2, come on by. Give you a tour of the building. Watch these little peanut heads learn stuff and have fun in school and jump up and down and greet guests. And, oh, we have a great time. So I'd love to have you show, uh, show you our classrooms. And uh, we'd love to do that between 10 and 2. If you can't make it during the day, we'll stay open till 6.30, 5 to 6.30. We'll do another tours and such with you. But then kids aren't there except for, except for our after-school program because that goes to 6.30 through Youth Quest. And we're very happy, proud, and pleased to have them with us. So you'll still be able to see kids in action and see the classrooms if you so elect to do so. And we're having a whopper, whopper, well, something big at uh, on April the 4th. Paul, and next Saturday, where are you going to be? I it's am April going Saturday. to Disneyland. What? <laughs> Is that the right answer? <laughs> Miss Q, he lied like a rose. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say wet and wild. <laughs> so you, you meant to say you're going to be in the grocery store? Mm -hmm. play egg, Easter egg Oh, hunt. that's right. I'm okay. going to be doing an Easter yeah, egg hunt at yeah. IAF. Yeah, you're going to stand out in the middle of Saginaw and almost get hit like we did last year. We can do that. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> but we'll have kids galore out there. We start at 1130 with a little section of, it, of our uh, front yard all divided up. And it's real safe for kids, folks. Real safe for kids. It's four and under, and they'll get to hunt for, we've got 1,200, 2,000 eggs. I don't know, they're being counted. Can you right really now. call it a hunt? It's a, it's a... It's an egg pickup kind a, of thing, isn't well, it? step on eggs. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fairly visible, except for the golden eggs. Oh, that's true. The golden that's true. eggs, that's we true. hide the golden egg. 
in each section for each section of kids. <laughs> And uh, then if they get that, they get a special Wallapalooza present. Uh, and we have a lot of gifts and such. And some of the eggs will not have any candy in them, but they'll have the word prize. So we're giving away tons of prizes, too. So I think we'll have a pretty good time, and we'll have a bounce house out there, I too. bet you you need some egg stuffer volunteers, we don't you? Are, uh, we have, that should be going on right now in, in a couple of homes. And uh, I'm hoping that is going on right now. Or <laughs> we will have a hunt with no eggs. <laughs> but I know it's going on because it's going on. Your Lord, help it go on. <laughs> okay. No, I know that it, it's happening. So we'll have lots and lots and lots of eggs. So remember, next Saturday, 1130 to 1230, three different age groups, four and under, five and six, and then seven and eight. They'll each have their time in their particular section of the front lawn. So please do join us, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to talk about that, 239-5733. Do call, do call. We'd love to have you do that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the feature of the day, we have a parent with us today, and a very special parent, because we see her literally every day. We see her every single day in her other capacity that she can choose to talk about. But this is Miss Norris, Q for short, and the real name is, oh, you got it, here's your mic, and you share it with little Walter. And tell us, if you don't mind, and such, thank you for making special effort to be Not here this morning. Not a problem. Um, tell us, uh, your name is a little unusual, everybody mm -hmm. just calls you Q. So tell us about yourself and your family, and perhaps some of your other involvements, if you wish. And then I might ask you some school-related questions. But the mic is yours. No problem. My name is Quayera Norris, and I am proud to say I'm the only one with that name in the entire world so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have been driving. Um, I am a bus driver for MTA, and I have the privilege and the pleasure of driving for International Academy of Flint, one of their school routes. I have been in Flint for almost a year and a half. Oh. I am a born native of New York City. No, New kidding. York City? New wow. York City. <laughs> yes. I didn't know this. This is so true. Did you live right in the city? Right in the city, born okay. and raised. Oh, wow. See if she's got any salsa. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. I, well, I don't know what to ask about New York City. I mean, it's just a big, other than being about the second or third largest big city in the world. It is a different uh, world by I think, itself. I think Mexico City is the largest, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody look that up and call us in. Give us the three, top three, somebody, somebody, <laughs> top three biggest cities in the United, in the world, in the world, and I think New York will be in the top five mix for sure. I believe so. But that's so. exciting. What did you do in New York, dear? In New York City, um, as I grew up, of course, I went to school. Yeah. I went to academy school as well. Really? Yes, what I did. What was its name? It uh, was called, and uh, still is, Wings Academy. Wings, W-I-N-G. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. It was on the south side of the Bronx. So I went there, and quite similar to International Academy of no it was based on academics. You never told me this before. You were we don't get a chance to chit chat <laughs> well, like that. Well, we, I go out and get bus numbers, and then we chat for a hot minute, and then I'm off to the next bus, and That's then the right. kids come. And yeah, you're right. We don't. We don't need to ever do that. So exciting. Um, give me three New York memories that would stick with you always? Um, three New York City memories that I will always remember are the Great Parades. They, oh, sure. They are extraordinary to see the different talent, the different celebrities, how the city unites um, during the holidays is a great memory for me. There's a, isn't that the famous Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Have you yes, been to it that is. one? Yes, I have. Oh, super. Yes. I've been there. I've been to the Macy's Spectacular for Fireworks. Okay. I, I have been a part of different parades, including the West Indian Parade during Labor Day. Wow. That one I don't know really much There are so all. many different parades that what, they don't mention. <laughs> what about the dropping of the ball? Were you, I, at that? Did you, were you right there? I have. I had to beg my mother one year to let me go. She says, no. She says, it's too many people. You got to be careful. Yeah. You never know. That's good mother talk right there. It yeah. really was, but I was so adamant I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you survived. I did, okay. and my aunt took me, and oh, I nice. was excited. How old were you then? Can you remember? I actually was 13 then. Oh, that is a tad young. Right? Yeah. So you must have been out past midnight. I was. Did you have a note from your mother? Oh, no. I had a, I had a something better. I had my aunt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's exciting. How long have you been in Flint then? A year and a half That's now. That's all. Mm -hmm. I missed that. Yeah, November of that. 2013. Okay. Wow. Um, Wings Academy. They were a K-12 
12 like we are? Or no, nope, they actually, when I got there, it was its first year. So it started at ninth grade and went all the way to 12. Okay. So did you go to a, a, a regular public school then up to grade? I did. did. Okay. I did go to a regular school up to grade 8. And of course, I, I had to be accepted just like International sure. Academy of Sure, Friends. sure. Uh, so I had to go through testing and they had to see where I was at academically oh, and to see you. if it was going to be a perfect fit for me. It really was quite like us. Yeah. Yes. So I appreciate that there was an opportunity to send my children to a school somewhere I really enjoyed that was based not only oh, on nice. academics but was based on community service. Okay. Not only just um, physical sports and just well um, social, uh, you know, social did, did delight. Did you do some of that stuff in New York then too? I did. I did a lot of community service. Actually, um, on Wednesdays was our community service day. Oh, we had a to, day devoted mm -hmm, to it. Okay. It was a day devoted to it where we had to pick an actual site. It had to be approved by your guidance counselor okay. to make sure that it was um, participated. And then at the end, part of your midterm was to write a oh, paper nice. about Very it good. and to also come up with a service project to help build a, a good relationship and union between the school and also yourself as well as the site that you built. Oh, Miss Q, that's good to hear. Yeah, maybe we could... Hmm, I'm starting to... Get my, I got three brain cells. Two of them are busy right now, mm -hmm. and the other so. one is just on on pose. But we might incorporate a little bit of that. I've been thinking about that. Frankly. It it was very yeah. special. It it really was, and um, it took me far as well as um, wanted to do more service projects. Where I joined AmeriCorps, soon as I graduated okay. from high school and Ms. did two terms. Miss Q, would you consider coming to our board meeting and then talking about that? Um, requirement of uh, volunteering, which the board you know, obviously participates in, enjoys it, and promotes it, but the fact that they need to write about this, why don't we talk about that a little bit? Maybe you could even present something. Like you just told me now, I think they'd be fascinated with hearing that. It really is. Thank you. I'm going to stay on you for that one. No okay, problem. I'm do that and I'm day. willing to help anywhere Great. I can. Oh, I know that. That's for <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Miss Q, there is, a, don't look now, but there's a handsome young man on your immediate right. I know, and Would it's you? for some reason he's just getting closer. Because <laughs> <laughs> so is his time to be on the air. Awesome. <laughs> it's getting closer, too. So why don't you introduce this guy? I think I know his first name, but uh, what are we calling him today? Yes, this is my handsome son, wonderful, academically, with the extraordinaire, Walter Bates. But mysterically, he goes by Hank because his middle name is Henry. Henry. Well, Henry, I'm going to, Hank, I'm going to ask you to take your hand off your head so we can see you on TV because your mother's going to get a copy of this forever and ever. I think you'd like to see his full face. Okay. Why right. is young? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hank, or as we call you at school, Walter, um, tell folks uh, grade you're in and, and teacher and subjects you like and stuff like that. Do you want to chat for a minute about that, young man? Yes. Go ahead, please. The mic's yours. Um. My teacher's name is Mr. Erickson and Ms. Fryer, and my favorite subjects are math, science, and writing, and I like to do almost all of those, but I really like those three the best. The best of all. Well, that's mm -hmm. very good. Okay. Um, did you do a science project? Yeah, I made one, but I was late to um, come there. I made um a light bulb that goes up, so I used a battery and some tin foil. And what were you trying to prove or disprove? What was your hypothesis? Can you remember that back that far? Um, mm, um, how can you make a light bulb with tin foil? Okay, so that was, and, about, and then it would, what would you do to make it light? What did you have to do? Um, I had the battery sitting down on the little cardboard thing, and then I, I would put the tin foil on it, and then I would just, and then I would put light bulb on the tin foil. Okay, and then it did it, it. Is that what you thought it would do? That was your hypothesis. Yeah. And then but it, I thought that I could do it with a paper clip, and I thought I could do oh. it with um, a piece of paper. And which worked best? The neither neither tin foil. The tin foil was okay. All right, very good. Mom, you were there during this 
period of uh, laboratory work at your home. <laughs> that I was. Okay. And the home still is standing. It is still, <laughs> okay. it's, the foundation is still strong. <laughs> okay. So there were no, uh, there were no calls to the fire department. No, okay. not this time. Yeah. Proud. That's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, we had to, all the kids did that, and they, some of those were so creative. I, I, there were hundreds in the gym when, when you know, they put the, the sheets up and such, and I didn't specifically see that one. But there were so many different um, experiments, yeah. and they, I appreciate that the children and the students, they worked outside the box. They okay. didn't do the most typical. Yeah. So it was enjoyable to see one that I can remember where um, a student used different types of baby diapers to see which diaper would absorb Absolutely. better oh, and it was amazing to see you know how many you know cups of liquid would absorb these certain diapers before they started to leak or which one was more well, secure but it was amazing who to thunk it they say exactly do you remember the name to give the, the um plug? i, I believe her name was oh, no but the product the product, the, one wanted, you... um, the one that I remember winning was Huggies, amazingly. Okay. Right. But she had so many different types of diapers available. Okay. And it was like, wow, to really sit there and think, it's like, wow, that would have helped a lot of different parents. <laughs> Candace, uh, call Huggies and tell them we conducted an official <laughs> laboratory experiment here in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> and we have the uh, tester with us here, or the test, the observer who is willing to go on screen <laughs> for a small commercial fee of... <laughs> $30,000? No, that will work. I'm about to say anything works, you know. <laughs> that should cover a week of MTA bus driving. Hey, okay. all right, very go. good. Okay. <laughs> Paul, did you hear about that? That one experiment with diapers and such and the absorbency level and all that? Of course I did. I was listening to every word you said. <laughs> he probably wears huggies. <laughs> depends, baby. <laughs> it depends if it was what? Depends on what's on sale. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Half off. Half off Huggies at Kroger's. Okay, all right. They're frozen. Let's, let's, how did we get in this area? It's, it's Walter's fault. Walter, it's your fault, buddy. Hey, You know, I did just pick up this paper. Did you say anything about that? Isn't uh, that fabulous? I didn't. No, I didn't. Do you want to talk about I know what it well, is. Well, yeah, since you guys it. won a, um, a Winter Olympics medal. Yes, we did. There and they let you, they let you um, participate again this year? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had some children there. Uh, uh, the pictures weren't included in, in, the, in the, the CPSA Courier. Thank you, Courier people. We appreciate you very kindly. We had several children that participated in that. Nice. They came back with a slew of medals. And um, it was in mid-February, and of course this was now a little bit after the fact, but we thank the Courier for printing some of the things that we submit. And the kids were all excited, and they were frozen. It was in the worst part of February, so they really enjoyed getting back in the warm weather. Nice. Anyway, yeah, we did get a little front page notification there. Nice. But I didn't go. We had two teachers that went and stayed with the kids. For Are you sure <laughs> that I didn't go? That you didn't participate? Well, <laughs> uh, yes, I, mm. I am, sir. I'm okay. Sure of that. Um, Walter, we will, let's get back to Walter for a minute. <laughs> now, I appreciate you know your interest in science and math and uh, writing. That's wonderful. But uh, what, have you given any thought at the grade of three to what you might want to consider doing later on when you get out of high school? Have you thought about that at all? Yes, I want to be grown up and be like a famous football player. Or I would be like a fireman or like a scientist. I like the scientist part, yeah. Well, the other two are very worthwhile occupations. There's no doubt about that. But in terms of financial possibilities that mm -hmm. mother might want to talk with you about at some point, which to you at this moment means absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that might be something you'd want to go on. Of course, being a professional football, those folks make oodles and tons of money as well. So he's headed in the right way. Money isn't everything, as we all, all know, but it, it sure um, makes things a, a little bit easier, as you know, laboring every single day for, uh, you know, for the MTA as we do at school as well. So some of the most important positions and occupations in life and roles in life are not heavily paid, but they are somewhat rewarding. And I know you enjoy your work because we, it's hard for us to get a complaint about you. It's just hard, you know that? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call parents that. to complain about it now. <laughs> I think I'll find an upside yeah, to it. <laughs> we, one thing I noticed over the over the months that she's been with us, a very dedicated driver, as I would most drivers are, but Q is, uh, I think, a little special there. 
Yeah. I hear she actually puts on her turn signals, and people in Flint aren't used to that. <laughs> well, certainly not in cars. We know that. Yeah. Even brake lights are a kind of somewhat of new fashion here as well. But, Q, thank you for your service to our families. And, and of course, uh, you know, there, there's always the challenges as a driver and trying to stay on time. And folks don't understand, you know, uh, you've got maybe 17, 18 stops, maybe, roughly? Um, anywhere between 26 and 28. That many? Okay, because yes. I know you, you run the far north route. And uh, if, well, we were only a minute late, okay, but a minute times 26 stops are how many minutes, mm -hmm. Walter? One minute times 26 stops. One minute times 26. One times 26 is? 26. Got it. <laughs> okay. I kind of caught him flat. <laughs> Whew, I was nervous over here. I was <laughs> so Paul, was Paul, I. Paul, <laughs> remember how Paul, Paul grabbed his pants. I, I took my that. shoes off. What are you talking about? I had to count my toes. Well, see, what they don't sometimes understand is one minute at each stop makes you really potentially very late at the end of the route. So well, that's why it's so important to folks to get their kids out early and, and on time. And in the, when the weather's so cold out there, we know it's, it's, a, it's a bear to have them stand out there. Uh, but what the MTA would suggest, 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after, folks should be out waiting for their bus. But again, you have um, uh, hardly ever any concern from parents. So I personally thank you and appreciate your service to our, our family. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Walter, let's see. Is there anything? What are you going to do this summer, big fella? Oh, now wait. I just learned something, didn't I? That you did. What is it that I just learned, Walter, that you should be thinking about? What did Mom say about where you could go this summer if he... He has if he, to excel in his grades. He excel. just can't pass. Okay. He has to excel. Oh, my. That's where Paul's going, I hear. Disney where? World. He's going to Disney World. The family might go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Listen, you got to... Talk to me before you leave, because I found a deal down there. Did oh, you really? really? Fabulous deal. Oh, nice. Oh. Paul, by the way, that's Paul Herring. I don't know if you two ever got a chance to meet. How you came. doing? Um, <laughs> I think we did in the past um, with during a fishing expedition. Fishing? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to fish. No, you didn't, but I think you did the publicity for um, a, um event that was going on at a church. Okay, okay. And I interviewed for you there as well. Nice. Oh, look at nice. you. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> then you know about him. He's, he's a you know, very dependable and creative, very creative mind, extremely. Of course, he does this videotaping for special events, and, of course, we use him constantly because he's so valuable to us and... He's a parent, has an ex-parent now because his two kids have graduated, one at Michigan State, oh, the other one at Central Michigan. So he's, he's really, and those kids were with us literally all their life, Paul, if I'm not mistaken. And they won so when the doors open. a pro. He knows our school and he knows our challenges and uh, he's a very creative mind. And, and I still hang out with him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> In that's spite a, of me. That's a bonus, right? <laughs> he's, he's, he's courageous, too, as you can tell. Uh, but Paul, hey, let me... Talk. You got us. You introduced this water slide for 19 miles. Isn't that going to be great? Is that, is, what have you? What are you getting out of that? I mean, absolutely it, nothing. Well, the, I mean, the DDA stole it from us. Yeah, I, I saw the DDA, but I thought maybe you pro provided it to them. For well, no, they stole it from us. Uh, I was uh, Juneteenth was going to use it for its yeah. 2016 fundraiser. And, and you're cut out of it then. Pretty much, yeah. Um, even uh, they don't even want vendors down there. It's solely for downtown businesses. I called the guy and I said, "Well, can we set up a table, or something downtown?" And he says, "Their, you know, their mission is to serve the downtown businesses." No. But anyway, I hope he changes that decision. Yeah. I mean, it, it's yeah. kind of sad, um, but it is what it is. But Paul is, and he, he just reinforced my thought. He's on the cutting edge of creativity, and he's alert all, all, all kind of stuff, and brought a great idea. A lot of community and participation could have been in, involved with this. It's a long slide, like maybe a quarter mile long. Wow. Yeah, a quarter mile. That's wow. Really like Up to 10 city blocks of a slip and yeah. slide. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And just zoom all the way. So it would have been, and there have been people and pay tables and organizations passing out stuff. It could have oh, we still think there. it's a good idea. I'm still going to I'm still gonna support it. Yeah, I'm yeah. still going to advertise it and yeah. get people to come out to yeah. it. I mean, a good idea is a good idea, yeah. whether it's mine or somebody else's. Okay. And that's his spirit, too. Good guy. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. Okay. Two, three, nine, five. Ooh, we are.
Phew, we're almost done of time here. Isn't that something? You must have talked too much. That's I, terrible. I have to get out of it's control awful. sometimes. Walter, you just got to be quiet. You talk too much, too. I wonder who was doing all this talking. It's not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been the Bubba, huh? It Bubba could have been. <laughs> okay. okay. You're all very kind of being nice to me because I know what they think. But anyway, thank you for being with us. Just appreciate thank you. you. Walter, good job, us. big guy. You're going to be on. You're going to be on the TV. And Paul, tell us when we're on TV. You're on TV Monday nights at 7.30, 7.30. on FACT, okay. Channel 17, okay. Flint Area, Community exactly. Television. His logo is, don't be on TV, make it. No, like don't that. just watch TV. Be on it. Make watch. it. Make it, okay. That's all right. That's yeah. kind of crazy nice. phrase, but he thinks of that stuff, too. <laughs> well, we're about to close off, and we always, we always do it in a very unusual way. But have you ever heard us uh, close off like this? you got to join me if you can holler. Sure, why not? That stuff. We'll do that Let's at see. the right time. Folks, thank you. If you have questions about our school, 605,000, 605,000, please call. And I'd love to give you a tour. And be alert. Everybody be alert. In fact, we've got Grandparents' Day coming up for our K-1 kids on Tuesday of this approaching week. And uh, uh, Grandparents' Day for grades 2 and 3 on Thursday Cheers. of this week. And we got to cut. And we always say, as Paul always says, Art, are you sitting by a... A blog on your computer? Or are you sitting just plain in the fog? Or are you walking your dog? Or are you, and today we're going to celebrate the letter Q for some of our special guests. Okay, and by this is a hard one for me. Or are you celebrating the letter Q for a choir in which says, are you quickly quantifying quacking quarrelsome queens, quietly quilting quivers of quality quilts while quoting a quorum of questionable quizzical queasy quint questing quadruple quadrant coupled quadrangle quadmire quotients of quartz in Quarry Hill, Quantico, or Quebec? Then look at somebody and say, Woo! That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>